day five, just drinking my cup of coffee and we'll be on our way. It's about four miles to Shap. Um, then after Shap, it should be about a 20 mile hike to the next town, but I'm not going to do that. Probably going to do about, <coughs> well, we'll see. Try and get to about half past four or five o'clock and then find somewhere to crash, I think. Uh, Kirby Stephen is the next one. But because um, I'm sort of like four miles behind it, so that'll be 24 to do that. I can't do that. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. It's 24 miles um, to, to get to Kirby. So uh, we're just going to push on, break it up, and then uh, and maybe have a bit of a leisurely day tomorrow. We will see. Right, coffee on, and then we're away. Morning. Just come up to eight o'clock. On the way to Shap, climbing, but the scenery is amazing. And we're going up this farm track. Uh, more of a climb than I expected first thing, so I'm overheating. My thighs give me a little bit of a pain, but hopefully we can walk through that. Right, on to Shap. Nice old bridge just coming down to along the river. Beautiful scenery. Alright. Just come to this lovely old bridge. It's warming up a bit now. It was drizzling earlier, but it looks okay. Yeah, beautiful. Old ruin of a house, there's the old cook pot there or what you should call it. Beautiful scenery. Good place to stay at night, but just approaching Shap Abbey. We have a five minute break down there and strip off because I'm too hot. And then we'll push on into Shap. Shouldn't be that far away. Uh -huh. Right. This is the Abbey. Probably huge in its day. Climb the walls. Just stop in for a quick break and I'll take a layer off because I'm a bit warm. Don't see any energy today, so it's going to be a bit of a ploddy day. So I don't think the mileage will be big, but we're just as long as we keep heading in the right direction. That's what matters. Morning. Well, I've just found a case of uh, lager behind the uh, salt bin there. So I had one for my breakfast, which was very nice. And I've put one in my pack for later. <laughs> right, still heading away to Shap. Not making very good progress at all. Two more diversions. There was a tourist at the Abbey, which was again a nice distraction. So uh, we want to do another ten. <laughs> I, I still need to get to town, so I waste another hour. So we will see. If you just plod on like we normally do. Hi, we're at a good pit stop in town. I had two, a couple of bacon butties and uh, got a few provisions for lunch. So we're now we're push on so far we get to this. It's supposed to be fairly flat, but we're up and down already. But uh, we're just plodding on today, no agendas, and see where we get. Can't make up its mind, it's sunny or it's going to rain at the moment, so it's half and half. 
but we're going over there following that faint line up of the hill all the sheep are sitting down which is not always good anyway the, the round will take some takes lunch uh, on top of a small hill I like to be under that nice oak tree but it's over there and I'm over here we come from all the way over here and all the way up there somewhere and we're going that way also up there's all these rocky outcrops always looks like foundations of Roman ruins but there's a load more back there behind me and there's a load here really weird anyway we're going that way towards that post and onwards Well, there's a bit pit stop, which was very pleasant. Got some water from the uh, the Lampu stream, which is tasty. And I had my beer, which I found by the side of the road by chap, which was really very pleasant. So there's a tea and coffee place on here, about another five miles. I might just pop in there and see what the score is. So you can get some water and then probably push on for another mile and call it a day. Um, that'll probably be about 15 then. Uh, but we will see. So just never know what's in front of you. Anyway, onwards. And my bag, my pack started squeaking. It sounds like, it sounds like I'm tramping, but I'm not. But it's just my bag for some reason. I don't know why it is, but it's doing it. <laughs> Hear me over the wind, but it's a, a cliff face over there. Might be an old mine once upon a time. And I'm going probably up towards there somewhere. <laughs> right. Where should I go? Just approaching the village of Alton. A lot of airplanes flying over here, isn't there? But I'm not quick enough to get them. All right, onwards. And this is the old lime kiln. They um, did what they did with lime in those days. Uh, great <laughs> lime kiln. All right, and we're going down there and that way. Probably down this road. Some big in should be next, not sure where that is. Might have a pit stop there and, and have a plan. Anyway, it's beautiful now. My friend's hungry, he's eating the fence. Aren't you? Eating the gate. This is a gorgeous countryside I've been walking through all afternoon. That's amazing. Have I'm tired. Lots of different colour sheep. Right. Hi, just stopped at some Biggins farm. It's a little pit stop. There's um, put tea, coffee, there's soft drinks. Uh, just on a seat of box in there, which is nice. She's got a cold drink and an apple, which I'm going to eat now, and just have five minutes in the shade. And I'll crack on and see what I want to do next. Where I put my tent up, we'll push on a bit more. See you later. Well, I've run out of puff, so I've gone down to this farm. I'm in the garden and camping here tonight because I've had enough. Right, let's get his tent up. I'm at Bent Farm. I've got a free lager. I've got some water to soak my ouchy feet in. My tent is over there. Also, I'm going to cook dinner in a minute. I'm just going to just a bit of a wipe down, which is great. All the salty, horrible nerfs off me. And then I'm going to relax and cook some dinner. But this is nice. <laughs> 